I'm David Hester, and I'd like to welcome you to the very first episode of the Hebraic Truth Quest show on YouTube. First, I guess I'll share with you why I chose to call my website and show the Hebraic Truth Quest. Well, it's because of it's because my walk with Yahweh has been a real adventure. I'm sure you could say that for your walk with the Lord as well. I guess though my interest in the Hebraic roots of Christianity started um, when I was looking in the scriptures to see what God said about health and wellness. And while I was searching the scriptures on this subject, I came to realize that Yahweh was not just concerned about my spiritual health, but he was also concerned about my physical health. I learned in the Bible's books of Genesis, Leviticus, and Deuteronomy that God had actually spoke a lot on what was food fit to eat and what wasn't. Then I said to myself, a whole litany of scriptures from the New Testament that to me proved that these dietary laws had been abolished when Messiah was crucified on the cross. Then one day the words of Yeshua in Matthew chapter 5 stood out to me, where it says, Think not that I've come to destroy the law or the prophets. I've not come to destroy, but to fulfill. So you can see my dilemma. Then, as I was referencing Acts chapter 10, something I'd never seen in this light before hit me like a ton of bricks. When Peter received that vision, with all of the beast and creeping things of the earth and the sheep, you know, being let down from heaven, Yahweh said, Rise, Peter, kill and eat. Peter's response in verse 14 was, Not so, Lord, I've never eaten anything common or unclean. Did you get that? Here, we see Peter, after the Messiah was crucified, saying, I have never eaten anything common or unclean. This shows us that Peter never believed that the cross abolished the dietary laws of the Old Covenant. To further make this point, it should be noted that when the Gentiles arrived, Peter said in verse 28, You know how it's unlawful for a Jew to fellowship with a Gentile? But God has shown me I should not call any man common or unclean. So this famous vision of Peter really has nothing to do with food, and has everything to do with Yahweh calling the Gentiles unto himself. It was at this point that I started thinking that maybe I had missed something in my understanding of the New Covenant and the death of Messiah on the cross. I then learned that what was nailed to the cross was my sins and not the Torah. Torah simply means God's instructions and guidance. Why would anybody want to abolish the instructions and directions of God? He loves us. He knows what's best for us. So looking further into the book of Acts, I realized that the Apostle Paul observed the Passover, offered animal sacrifices, observed the seventh-day Sabbath. Talk about a radical transformation of your theology. I figured then that I needed to look into the subject of the Torah and the Hebraic roots of Christianity. Thus, I named my website Hebraic Truth Quest, in order to share the journey of myself and others with those whom Yahweh is calling by His Spirit into what I believe to be one of the final revivals in the history of the body of Messiah. If you have any questions or comments regarding this show, please post them below, and I'll do my best to give you a quick answer. Shalom, which means peace, and may Yahweh richly bless you as you study His Word.